I was thinking to myself, life is tough. Life is hard. I didn't want to kill myself, but I didn't want to be here either. You see, within eight months, my grandmother died, my mother died, and I just found out that my brother died. And I just didn't want to be here anymore. It was too much. I felt overwhelmed. And as I'm sitting on my couch crying, my husband walks across the floor and he grabs my hands and he looks me in the eyes and says, Maxine, you do not have to be strong. And that's when I realized that heroes need help too. When we think about heroes, we think about Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman, those heroes that we grew up with. When I think about heroes, I think about the surgeon who was operating on a child who was hit by a bullet in a crossfire. Heroes. I think about the funeral director who has to tell family members that not all of them could attend their funeral of their loved one. Heroes. I even also think about those heroes that are unsung heroes. Grandparents who take care of their grandchildren. The teachers, unsung heroes who take money from their own paychecks to buy materials so that they can educate their students. Unsung heroes. I think about even the first responders who really they don't get credit because they're heroes because that's what they do every day, all day. And when I think about those heroes, it made me think about even myself. You see, I serve quite a bit in my job. I, I serve and I give a lot in the community. And of course, I'm taking care of my family. And I found with all of that, that I was starting to feel resentful, upset, and I wasn't serving from a place of love or gratefulness, but a place of resentment. And that made me think, this is just too much to deal with, too much to do. I don't have anything to give, anything to share. So why am I here? I felt burnt out. You know, Stanford University has a study, a research study, where they found in the United States lost over $190 billion and 120,000 people die every year due to workplace stress, burnout, and feeling overwhelmed. And feeling like that, I thought to myself, I did not want to be one of those statistics. No, I didn't want to be one of those statistics. So what did I do? I had to be honest with myself and take a hard look in the mirror and say to myself, Maxine, you need help. You can't do this by yourself. Maybe if you're a caregiver, perhaps you need help too. Or if you're a first responder, perhaps you're saying, I can't do this by myself. Heroes need help too. And what I found and what I realized is that there were three things that I learned and three points that I learned that what can help and how heroes can build up. The first thing that I learned is that we need to have a clean cup. 
We need to have a clean cup. Clean our cup. You know, we've heard the saying, you can't pour from an empty cup. And frankly, I'm over that saying, really. Because I realized that I couldn't pour from a dirty one either. I was always saying yes to everything and everybody. My schedule started as early as 5 a.m. and ending at 9 p.m. No breaks really to eat. Finding myself eating in front of Zoom calls. It was just really no time to spend with my family. And then I started to feel resentful. Doubtful. Why am I here? And then when I started to feel that way, I had to think about it and say to myself, I need to pause. Take a step back. Relax. Clean my cup. What are you doing to clean your cup? Every hero needs to clean their cup. Even if the cup is empty. Every hero needs to clean their cup. Even if their cup is full. The next thing that I learned is that Every hero needs a safe haven, a safe haven, a place of peace, a place of serenity, a place where they can recharge, a place where we can celebrate, a place where they can just feel peace and love, a safe haven. I think about safe havens. I mean, Batman even went back to the cave where Batman recharged. Have you ever wondered, where is your hero safe haven? Where does your hero go to recharge? Just as much as the hero serves, they deserve to have a place where they recharge. The hero deserves the same thing. The same thing based on the one he serves or she serves. Is there a safe haven? Does your hero have a safe haven? Every hero needs a safe haven. And the third thing that I've learned about heroes is that every hero needs a hero. Have you ever wondered, have you ever wondered, where do heroes go? Where do heroes go when they need help? Where do heroes go when they have questions? Every hero needs someone to say, I, I, I get you. I understand. They've been in your place. They've walked in your moccasins. They, they've been in your shoes. And I realized that getting help, a hero getting help doesn't make them weak. It makes them even stronger. But I didn't realize that at first. But now I know and realize that. That every hero needs a hero. And when you have a hero, it makes you even more powerful. So, where is your hero? What would the world be like if every hero had a hero? What would the world be like if every hero had a hero? <laughs> what would the world or would the community be like? What would the family be like? If every hero cleaned their cup, if every hero had a safe haven, if every hero had a hero, I guarantee you that every hero needs help too. Thank you.